Right now you can see the smoke coming up and the beginnings of flame. It's pumping out tremendous amounts of carbon monoxide, toxic fumes. The heat is beginning to build up. As the heat builds up, gradually the fire will ignite into flames and begin to send the heat up because it's buoyant and start the curtains burning and the continuation of the fire up into the ceiling level. A lot of people think that a fire starts down low, but what you're going to see is this phenomenon of flashover where all the heat goes up and begins to heat everything above the chair. Right about now, a smoke detector would be going off in the house if we had one placed in there. And as you see the fire grow, as it licks up this curtain, if there was a sprinkler out about eight feet diagonally from the corner of this room, it would be activating right now, either extinguishing the fire or actually controlling the fire and holding it right to this place. Right now, the temperature of the ceiling is about 570 degrees. So as it continues to build, you begin to see the banking down of the smoke from the ceiling. The heat is getting much more intense. The room is beginning to heat up tremendously. In fact, as you see the curtains dropping down, the level of smoke and heat can get down to about head high in just a few seconds. And it could be anywhere from 800 to 1,000 degrees. Right now, at the floor level of the room, it's about 212 degrees. That's the boiling point of water. As you see this fire build, what's happening is it's changing the form of the chair into particles and putting it up into the room. Everything else, the plastics, the wood, all the combustible materials in the rooms are beginning to heat up. It's getting ready to create the phenomenon of flashover. As you see the, the heat building down in the smoke, in just a few seconds, you'll see the entire room burst into flame. Everything in there that's combustible will instantly ignite. Right about now, flashover is occurring. You can see all the smoke turning orange, fire consuming all the combustibles. Two minutes it took for the room to flash over. Now, if you watch the base of the door, you're gonna see something awesome. Most people don't see this. The fire will actually breathe. You can see the throat of the fire open up at the base of the door. See it breathing? In and out. When firefighters go up to their house with their doors closed, they can actually hear the sucking of the air coming in and then the pushing of the smoke and heat as it comes out. In just a moment, all the windows will explode and the fire will consume everything. There's no real reason why you have to fear flashover if you know what to do during a fire and also if you have fire protection systems at home, at work, and when you travel. Most people don't know that in the months of November and December, 13,000 people go to the emergency room for treatment because of holiday decorations. So what should people do in order to avoid being uh, injured by holiday decorations? First of all, when you are hanging holiday uh, decorations, use the appropriate ladder. Uh, don't use a short ladder if you're going to be outside hanging lights. We all know that uh, natural Christmas trees are going to dry out over the month that they are in your home. So always have a person in your family who's the designated waterer to make sure that that Christmas tree is watered every day. About 130 people die from candle fires. Candles should always be kept away from draperies, from furniture, from children, from decorations because those candles can ignite and cause a terrible tragedy for you and your family. Keep candles away from children and always have them on a flat surface that is heat resistant. And many of those fires unfortunately associated with Christmas trees. So as much as this should be the most joyous time of the year, it's also one of the most dangerous times of the year unless you exercise proper safety precautions. That includes making sure your Christmas tree is well watered, making sure you dispose of the tree when it dries out, making certain that your family understands what to do in the event of a, a fire or in the event of a safety issue in a home. If you do all these things, you're going to have a merry and bright holiday season and you won't have any injuries to your family.